There's a lot of places online where you can blog, update your status, post your pics, and take whatever's on your mind and translate it into something that can be seen online. Posteris is a service that can give you the capability of doing all these things through email. If you're looking to start your first website, or you're a social media pro who's looking to simplify, it might be the tool that serves your needs. In this video, I'll be going through the basics of how to use Posteris. So first things first, how do we sign up for an account? Here on Posteris.com you can see that there's no sign up or setup. You just need to start sending emails. This is unfortunately not really true. The setup process for Posteris is pretty unwieldy, so I'll guide you through it step by step. You'll still need to set up your account, but not until we send that email. Okay, I've got my email up. I'm going to send it to post at posteris.com. I'm going to name my first post, Hello World. In the text of it, I'll just say that it's my first post. When I hit send, I should almost instantaneously get a reply back telling me my email has been posted. So let's go have a look at where it says, Your New Post. And here it is, my very own blog. It's not very exciting right now, but as we make changes and add content, that'll all change. I'm going to click on Claim This Site to start the setup process. On this next page, I can define the URL for the blog and set the password. Posters has already picked the URL I like, so I'll just go ahead and accept it. The next two pages allow me to fill out my profile and connect with any friends I might have in Posters. And here it is, my Manage screen. There's one final step to getting my Posters site set up correctly, and that's to confirm my email address. That will appear in a second email, and that by now should have appeared. All I have to do is click on the link in the email to confirm. That will take me to a page where I can also add other email addresses, and a phone number if I want to post via SMS. At long last, the registration is complete. Now I can start posting to my blog by emailing post at posters.com. Here, I've got three pictures attached. You can send posters a pretty wide variety of files that include images, audio files, PowerPoint presentations, and videos. Now, I also want to embed my latest video from YouTube, so I'll just paste the link right here. And here it is. As you can see, it's automatically taken the YouTube link and embedded the video. All the attachments are here underneath, and they've been organized into this smart little gallery. If I'd attached an audio or video file, Posters would have placed them into a player that would have been embedded in the page. But what if I want my attachments to sit above my YouTube video? How can I get greater control? The answer is through editing or posting via the Manage screen. Here I'll start a new post by clicking Post by Web. This will bring up an editor where I can create my post. This left hand column is for editing, while the right hand column gives me the ability to upload media and change different options for this post. Here I'll upload these three photos, which will turn into a thumbnail of the gallery in the post editor on the left, which I can then move around as I please. I can also click on it and make specific changes to the gallery itself. I wanted the YouTube video underneath the gallery, so I'll add the link underneath it here. When I'm done, I'll click Post to see the final product. Posts are things that I'll be constantly updating, but what if I want content that my readers will be able to easily access? From the Manage screen, I can add a page that readers can get to from the top of my blog. I'll go to the Page tab and click the Create a New Page button. As you can see, it's pretty much exactly like the post editor. But when I click Save, I can see that the navigation now includes a link to the home and about me, the page I just created. When I look at the top of my blog, there's now a link to the about me page. If I want to really change the look of my blog, I can change the theme. By clicking Theme My Site here at the bottom of the Manage screen, I can choose from a variety of different pre-built themes and change several of my blog settings. Once you've got a theme picked out, press the Save button. One of Posters' most useful tools is the ability to auto-post to other social services. This way you can do all your posting through email. Different services handle Posters' content differently, so you should definitely read the documentation on how the post will appear in each service. In this example, I'll link my Twitter account to Posters by clicking on the Auto Post tab. I'll click on Add Service and select Twitter.
This will open up Twitter, and I'll have to allow posters to link with it. Now to test out the auto post feature, I'll send another email to post at posters.com. Now if I just wanted to send this just to Twitter, I would send it to twitter at posters.com. But I want to send it everywhere, so I'll just leave it as post at posters.com. Now when I set up auto post, I saw that Twitter takes the first 130 characters of the subject line, and then adds a link to the post. I just want to send a message without the link, so I'll keep it short, and just leave the message in the subject line. Now when I look at my blog, I can see the subject line posted as the title of my blog. When I look at Twitter, I can see that it posted there as well. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.